before we get started, I'm going to do a, just a small intro, because I want to get right into, um, reacting. For the Dylan Kurosaki show. First of all, if you guys don't know what the Dylan Kurosaki show is, it is basically me reacting to scary stuff. With the hashtag, the Dylan Kurosaki show. Now, here's the thing, you guys can send me themes, but for today, I really want to react to some more horror shorts party. Like, you are free to send me stuff, and I should have told you guys sooner. Go men inside for that. That won't happen again. But, you know what? I am going to give you a video. Because I feel I need to. Now, last time we reacted to Horror Shorts Party, they. I acted dumb when I shared the video on Twitter, and they responded, thanking me. Hobo Shorts Party, I am forever in your debt. Thank you for watching the video. And I love you for that. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the lights off, and we'll react to some more of the animations. Cause I am looking forward to see what they have. Alright, so let me just do this. And let me turn up the lights. Hello guys, let's do this. Yes, last time I didn't turn up the lights and I'm really sorry about that. But this time I will. Cause hey, it's horror shorts party. It's horror. I have to do that. <laughs> I hope they appreciate the pride. Because I love them. I love your stuff. And I love your animations. Let's get right into it. Now let's do the first one. Did I see? Among Us. Horror story. Animated. This looks interesting. Oh, I know him! He's on the Chuck E. Cheese shorts! Okay. Alright. Horror Shorts Party. Among Us. Horror Shorts. I love my oh! I love it because a bill. Does this guy know about an, an exercise machine? He looks like Jabba the Hutt. Bullies anymore. I used to work at my local bakery. Oh, that's for disgusting. Too much of the cake. I'm just stuck in my room 24 hours a day playing Among Us with random strangers <laughs> online. I personally enjoy it more. Yo, imposter. Just because I I, I really need to play that killer, game to be honest. Killer. 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 Oh, oh no! <laughs> hey mom. Mom, could you fix me a plate of some leftover meatloaf? How about you work out Mom, and do yourself? I want some leftover meatloaf. Shut! Get out of exercise. Michael, you shut up. And do yourself. Mom, meatloaf. 
Get your own freaking meatloaf, sus boy. Or tell one of your stupid Among Us crewmates to make it a task since you're so damn lazy, triple chin. The only thing <laughs> sus boy like you're coming from your bedroom at 3 a.m. in the morning, loser. I dare you to say that to my face! No. Get the hell out of my room, Michael! Say it to my face, Louie. Yeah, that's what I thought, sus boy. Next time, tuck your chin underneath your shirt. It'll make it easier to see the screen. Mm. Yo, don't take him off. Go calm down! Jesus! Bam. You need to just, not just kill, but work out. Cause yo, that's really not good for you. That's really unhealthy. Like I'm okay no, with like. No, no, please don't kill me. Ah! There's people, but. Help! Somebody go for me. That's really unhealthy. <sighs> well, it looks like my work here is done. Hey, Louie. What? Who's there? It's me, Louie. Michael. <laughs> Turn around, loser. Oh, hey, M Michael. We finally killed them all. Louie, you know there can only be one imposter, right? Yeah, I know. That's one the one among us. There can only be one of us, Louie. Just like how yeah, every story right. has to have one protagonist and one antagonist. Yeah, no, that's true in the story. We have to kill each other? No, 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 no. We're brothers, Louie. We don't do that to each other. I just mean, only one of us can kill going forward. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Here, you cannot have taken him off then, Louie. Ah! Oh! His mouth, though! You can trust me. Oh! Both imposters, remember? Now. Uh, is what they actually I look like? And let them oh! Oh! What are you doing, Michael? Just relax, Louie. Oh! oh no, His no. mouth! Though! Oh! Okay. Oh, stop it! Oh! A little bit more, Louie. Don't worry, you got this, buddy. Oh! Look at his face, though! Don't worry. It's another kick him off, Louie! Just relax, you little no! This has to be a dream. But it feels so real. Yes, it is real. Oh, oh, Stop oh, it. Stop it. oh! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, Louie! What the hell are you doing? Have you lost your damn mind? Yo, that was brutal. Holy moly! Holy moly! And my, I can't even say the word. That was too good. That was too good. Ah! Uh, oh Lord! Oh Lord! Wow! <laughs> Yo, that was a straight ten. Over coach party. I just want to applaud you for that performance. That was actually one of your best thoughts. Now we're gonna click on this actually, because this is actually next. Alright, Hover Coast Party number two. McDonald's Vintage Horror Story Oh Terrence! I heard that he was a really good first actor. This story occurred around the early 2000s, back when I was still in elementary school. I was in my early teens, so the monotonous school life was something I always dreaded. My mom always I like his school school work. as her workplace was just down the street, so getting a ride was always less strenuous than walking home. She I used to go. Stop by can I pause for a second, guys? Just I I know I should continue, but yo, I used to actually go to the part 
to play places in McDonald's. Like that that takes me way back to when I used to like play with my friends from school. We would actually like after school go to the play places. This is gonna be a good This is gonna be a really good show. As much as I adored my mom, the lack of home-cooked meals and abundance of McDonald's always kept me out of shape for the latter part of my teen years. The That's one thing I found of genuinely McDonald's. pleasing about that McDonald's was the enormous play place attached to the restaurant itself. I get the my mom usually that. dropped me off there to play with my neighborhood friends and acquaintances, as long as I got the majority of my schoolwork done. There was this one occasion, though, that really disturbed me to my core, and... It seeps into my daily thoughts from time to time. I remember being picked up from school and heading over to that same McDonald's venue to pick up some takeout for that evening. As we got inside, I recall my mom ordering the usual Big Mac combo while I casually glance at the play place through the glass window of where the eating area was. Yo, I used to go to the play places. I love those. Jimmy? Son? What's your name? What's this? I! I remember zoning out at this particular moment and could recall the echoes of my mom calling out for me. It was almost as if I couldn't move a muscle, like my entire body was in a state of shock traveling through space and time into another dimension. It felt like it was just me in the play place, like I had the entire what? setup all to myself. Jenny, what drink do you want? Uh, I'll get a Coke, Mom. As my mom headed back, his eyes though. I could recall seeing the reflection of a Ronald McDonald clown. Oh, he! Yeah. He's like still a guy from the McDonald. The other McDonald's store. I casually pretend like I don't see him by keeping my eyes glued to the glass and not bothering to turn around. I know you can see me on the reflection of the glass. That's when I casually turn towards the direction of the clown and say, "Uh, can I help you, sir?" Yes, my dear boy. Do you or your mother want to see what a pyromaniac can do with a little fire? Uh, we're just here to pick up no. the Big Mac, so no thank Maybe you. Can we just think about having a giant Big Mac with my fire abilities so that you will never need to come to McDonald's again? Hey, leave us alone or I will call the cops. Go ahead and call them. I'll just teach my That's a good idea. how to start a fire and make an explosion. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Jimmy. That's, That's, the right That's the right thing to do. And drive away. That's the right thing to do. Or should I say the clown? Good job. That was small. About a week after that bizarre encounter, I spent the majority of my time playing Duck Hunt on my Nintendo. Oh my god! I lack the entertainment that today. Hold on, pause for a second. Has. Is this gonna be like Duck Season? McDonald's, as I surprisingly. Is this gonna be? But like more that, that whole the game with the dog. As the Duck day transitioned season? into the evening, my mom I could definitely me off see that. There as the company of the local teens in the neighborhood made her feel a little more comfortable doing so. I'll be back at 10 p.m. sharp. Call me if you want me to pick you up earlier, okay? Okay, mom. Yeah, how about no? I how about we don't go back? My neighbor friend Chris using the payphone located outside the McDonald's venue. Uh, hello? Hey, Chris, it's Jimmy. You still coming to McDonald's tonight? Oh, hell yeah. I'll be there in one. Hey there, long time no see. I would see. never ever do this. What the hell do you want? Let me show you how I make Duh. my fire. <laughs> I think I'm going to make Get the hell away night. from me or I'll call the cops. Just go to the pay place. Fine, have it your way then. Your little behind ah! couldn't handle all this smoke anyway. Can they not do I that? The McDonald's and immediately Mr. McDonald's. Play place. I honestly could have notified a McDonald's employee or any stranger for that. Exactly, place, he's at the phone. I ultimately decided to take the high road and wait it out until it was time for my mom to pick me up. I remember making my way up through no, the playground. No, he's doing the smart thing. As You should have. Hold on. I, I just want to read these. Because there might be Easter eggs. Yeah, there's like always shorts party right here. Also, Thomas Nicholson. 
Yo Senpai. <laughs> Yo, that's actually a funny Easter egg. <laughs> Yo, Tim Sickerson. I, I I just want to say something to you. You were a great voice actor. Keep doing what you're doing, man. And if you're watching this, tell Terrence, keep up the hard work. I believe in you, my brother. Keep up the hard work. I remember making my way up through the tunnels of the playground as I just wanted to reach the very top and avoid any further encounters with any other weirdos. I eventually reached the top of the platform and remember basking in the view as the array of colors from the ball pit was always something I found oddly satisfying to look at. That's when I noticed a familiar head beginning to protrude from the balls in the pit. It was the clown. The same clown from earlier, looking up at me with his ominous smile and revolting eyes. What the hell is going on? Why isn't anyone acknowledging this freak? The clown just stood oh, there looking at no, me as if no, nothing like mattered you. besides myself and his existence. I know you can hear me up there. What the hell do you want? I killed your mother, Jimmy. Now it's only you and your neighbors left. What the hell are you talking about? Jump! Dude! Hell no, leave me alone! Oh, don't worry, it's totally safe, Jimmy. Now jump. No, I'm Come not doing it. Come now, Jump! jump. Jump! And that's when I looked to my oh, left Chris. and see my friend Chris right next to me. He had no choice. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! Jump! 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 Oh. Jump! I began to close my eyes and hyperventilate as I felt a sudden surge of adrenaline flowing through my body. But then I began to feel a rather odd sensation, something like a fiery substance burning the hairs on the back of my neck off. That's when I opened my eyes and find myself on my apartment balcony with my entire building and- OH board. MY GOSH! What the hell? Somebody help me! Help! He's like Psycho Bob! Burn in hell and uh... OH MY GOSH! God! That's his dad! You will always and will forever be a clown! I hate you, you stupid, stupid clown! Help! Somebody please call 911! Oh! Help! Help! Oh! Somebody oh! call 911! Help! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Bam. Another 10 from Whole Week Oats Party. Oh my lord, I have mercy on my soul. Do we have time for at least one more? One more. Let's do one more, guys. We're doing one more. Yo, that was so good. Legit. All right. Yeah, let's do this one. Hold up. I need first ring. Hold oh, shorts party. Two true computer horror stories. Alright. I live alone in a small house in Canada. In Canada! That's where I'm from, too! Ago. I opened my front door one morning to go and get some groceries and found the strangest thing waiting for me outside. But we don't sound like that, though. Lying on my doorstep I think. was a small USB flash drive. Almost stepped on the damn thing. Who'd put that there, I thought. That's true. It was just a generic USB stick. Why? No label or anything. No way to know who it came from. Well, I did what anyone else would do. Pick Took that it inside and plugged Seriously. it into my PC. The device was full of pictures. In fact, nothing but pictures. Dozens of them. 
Wow. I opened the first one. This guy must be a, a Southie fan. The first few were just shots from around town, general places that I recognized. The fourth image was taken on our town's busiest street. In the image, the street was full of people, and, and there was somebody too. that caught my attention immediately. Me. The image showed me in amongst the crowd, just minding my own business. And well, why would you this take was a picture a of her? Was it just a coincidence that I was in the picture? The fifth image had been taken on the same day. Again, it was taken in our town. Again, I was in it. The photographer was closer to me this time. Whoever had taken these pictures of me, I hadn't noticed them at the time. Then who was it? More pictures of me in various locations around town. I'm confused. Then something more chilling. A photo of a house. My house. Oh. It was nighttime in the image, and the living room light was on. I clicked through to the next picture. It was another image of my house. Okay, this, this guy is a creeper. Closer. Creeper, creeper, through stranger. Window, you could see me sitting on the couch, watching television. I could tell from the clothes I was wearing that it had been taken the night before. I had no idea that somebody had been outside watching me. I kept clicking through the images on the drive. Photo after photo of me inside my house, taken from just outside my window. Because it was so light inside and so dark outside, I was totally unable to see that somebody was watching me from out there. That's I really see creepy. Wow. They could see me clear as day. Didn't even need to use the flash on their camera. After 20 or so photos of just me inside my house, there came a real curveball. An image taken from inside my hallway. The man, oh! the woman, or whoever was taking these Who pictures the of heck is inside the house? inside my house the night before. There were photos of my living room, now lightless and empty, obviously taken after I'd gone to sleep. Photos of my kitchen, of my dining area, my stairwell, and several taken as the unknown person ascended my stairs towards where I was sleeping. My brain started to run wild with thoughts about who had been in the house, like, right now? Had I wronged someone in the past? Said the wrong thing to the wrong guy? Was this just some weirdo who decided to target me? Were they armed when Probably they came to pay that's the thing. Whatever the case, somebody had come inside my house at night and taken pictures of all of the rooms, including my bedroom. The second to last photo. Okay, that's really, really fast creepy. Fast asleep in my bed. Totally oblivious to the person in my home. The final image was just of a handwritten note, framed in close-up. The message on it simply read, Never hide a spare key under your doormat. I've since moved house. That's smart! This is why you don't leave your key under the doormat. Because someone would have to come in. Back. That's really dumb. I was walking my dog through a local park late one night and decided to take a little break on one of the park benches. I sat down and immediately felt something under my butt. It was a USB flash drive, which had either been forgotten or abandoned by somebody. I waited around for maybe five minutes to see if somebody would come back and claim it. Nobody did, so I just put it in my pocket. Like I said... It was late at night, so the park's lost and found area was closed. I planned to head back there in the morning before work and hand it over. Oh, a doggo. Maybe the owner might come by and collect I it. I love doggos. Probably a student who had some work assignments on That's it, I That's cute. Figured. As I sat at home, my curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to take a quick look at what was on the USB. I plugged it into my computer and checked its contents. Strange. Little black there book. was only one file on the USB. An Excel file of all things. Some poor schmuck must have lost this thing after its first use. The file was simply titled Little Black Book. Needless to say, I opened the document. It was just a large collection of names, addresses, and numbers. Mr. X, Tudor Hill Drive. 52,750. Mrs. Y, Springfield Avenue, 
47,300. Now, where did he have this? On a drive. Deacon Street. Left on the park 000, bank. 200. That's my question. The list ran on and on. Probably 40 or 50 names and addresses in total. At least 25 of them have been highlighted in red. The rest were just in black. Strange. Why would someone go through the trouble of making an Excel file with all this information in it? Then saving it onto an empty USB. Is That's my client. question too. Were these someone's clients? Someone's friends? I had no idea. And what were the numbers next to each name supposed to mean? They were all in the same ballpark, between thirty and sixty thousand. And I decided to dig a little deeper and look up a few of the names and addresses, just to sate my curiosity, you know. I started with a couple of the names in black. It looked like these really were real people and their real addresses. Okay. Still didn't give any indication about what the numbers meant, though. I looked up one of the names in red. And why would he have those on a USB drive? That's when things took a darker turn. Mr. X was indeed a real person, and the address listed was indeed his. But he had passed away a few years back under mysterious circumstances. The but same he, is true of Mrs. Y, he's dead. Dr. Z, and all the other names listed in red on the document. They'd all perished, either under mysterious circumstances, or through some sort of unfortunate accident. Starting to worry that this USB might have belonged to someone in the clean-up business, so to speak, I began to put the pieces of the puzzle together, and figured I knew what the numbers next to each name meant. There were the amount that the people had been contracted for. This was a hit list. I immediately called up the authorities and handed the USB over to them, telling them where I'd found it and what the information pertained to. And they took it from there, and oh. I haven't heard anything else about it since. Had somebody left the USB on the bench intentionally for somebody else to come and collect, or had it simply fallen out of the owner's pocket? I still don't know. Probably never will. But I'm glad that nobody came by that park bench during those Yo, five minutes. Oh, that's and waited really around. creepy. It was dark. The park was completely empty, and the owner or collector <laughs> really wouldn't have wanted that USB well, me to fall into somebody else's hands. Who knows what they might have done? <laughs> yeah! Wow! Anyways. I'm gonna end it right there, guys. Yo. These charts are incredible. <laughs> and the narration's really good, too. And a super massive shout out to Horror Shorts Party for um, replying to the last video. That was really cool of you guys. Thank you for that. Also, one more shout out to the first actor. Talent Nicholson for the amazing voiceovers that he has been doing. The dude is extremely talented. And if he's watching this and Holy Shorts Party, you guys are incredible. Keep doing what you're doing. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more videos like this, let me know by Astro. But let's do that like button. And keep your likes and relaxing and don't stop believing. And most of all, I love all of you. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> I totally didn't mean to scare you guys. Totally didn't mean to.